The largest landfill in Latgala is located in Tsinishi, Demene district, and it is the second largest landfill in Latvia after the Getlini landfill, which is in Riga. The Tsinishi landfill covers an area of 7.4 hectares. Waste is transported here from Livani, Preili, Iluk, Steldaugovpils, Dagda, Kraslava and Demene. In one day, 110 to 120 tons of municipal waste are delivered to the Tsinish landfill and sorted. Just imagine! On the entrance road, near the administrative building, electronic vehicle scales are installed to control the amount of the delivered municipal waste with an electronic accounting system that registers the supplier. Identification of the type of waste is carried out both based on the information provided by the supplier and also by the visual control. So, a fully loaded garbage truck drives onto these scales and is weighed. It is weighed before and after waste is unloaded. In this way, the amount of waste is calculated and recorded. Then, waste is transported and unloaded in the landfill hangar, specially designed for it, where it is further sorted. The front end loader scoops up the waste and puts it into a large container, which shakes all the waste in order to separate it. Some waste is in tight bags. To get it out, the mass of waste goes through the waste bag opener compartment. It tears the bags, spilling out all their contents. When the bags are open and waste spills out, it then falls onto a sorting line that passes through a large magnet. This magnet attracts all metal products, cans, corks, nails, screws, etc. In this way, all metals of ferrums are separated from the mass of unsorted waste. The next stage is a kind of perforated sieve with holes. Such holes are also called cells. The diameter of one cell is 8 cm. This is necessary for all the fine fractions to spill out for these cells. How does it work? The sieve rotates around its axis and all possible fine waste falls out for the cells, such as food scraps, egg shells, tea and coffee grounds, fruit and vegetable waste, wet paper waste and all other possible waste of natural origin, which is also called a biodegradable waste. After this process, all the other waste that remains in the sieve goes to the next compartment, where the heavy fraction is separated from the light fraction with the help of a powerful blower. How does the heavy fraction differ from the light fraction? The light fraction is all kind of bags, films, sweet wrappers, etc. The heavy fraction is all other waste that is heavier and remains after passing through the blower device, such as cardboard, pad, glass, tin and other waste. All this waste is divided into two sorting lines. Three people walk on each line. A total of six people are employed, who manually separate into fractions all recyclable waste, such as cardboard and paper, tin packaging, glass bottles, pet plastic bottles and AGPE, which mostly is household chemical packaging, such as shampoo and dishwashing liquid bottles, yogurt containers, etc.
Unfortunately, all other waste is not further sorted. The rest of unsorted waste is transported to the end of the sorting line and gathered in one pile. This waste is taken to the landfill dumping ground, where it is buried. Finally, when all the waste is sorted and each type of waste is in its own compartment, Then this sorted waste goes to the hydraulic press machine, which compresses it into large bales. When a certain number of bales accumulates, these are loaded into oversized vehicles that transport them to recycling plants. Plants will recycle these bales of waste and turn them into new products. There is also a type of waste that does not end up on the sorting line and is not sorted. This is so-called green waste. Green waste is the waste that mostly consists of tree leaves that have fallen on the ground in autumn, or some other biological waste generated for landscape maintenance in the city and other inhabited areas. This waste is collected and sorted separately in order to decompose and produce compost, which will be useful in agricultural works in future. Construction rubbish is the waste that is generated during the construction works. These construction remains are transported to the landfill, but are not sorted, because these don't contain anything that could be used for recycling. This waste is taken to the landfill site and buried.